Det är en verklig sjankor. Han är tuttet och föröst i samband med dessa fundarröjna och han är ett ätkänsliga som du också brukar ära stjärnen. Det är lås på lau och fundar. Vi tar allt av fram vid att syntja och sjankor vi ska syntja nu ser man till nummer sex. Nummer sex. Jag hade kommit att få en gåva av felak sang som vi har att finna här i. Ett namn är i vårt land och ett namn. Jag säger så väl, ta kvar det namn så ena fyr ska kvarva. Stäm i oj att sommar, lär kom få en gammal sang som det vi hör vi är här till. Ja, jag ska väkna Lås på lau nämntena. Bjöd dig kun ötlund bär i här och i höttlene och nere i Gondadas höttlene att vara hjärtaliga välkommen till detta sista möte till Lås på lau och här som sinne. Och vi är vånade att Herren verkligen ska vara mitt lockon och tala till lockon. Så hjärtaliga välkommen att sommar. Och så igen ska Rottmund och Elia 
innleiða við bönn og hölsa Lúfus Palaur. Góu gút og fæjir í himli. Það tíkjus vera ein særli löta nú í þeirri komun til sænasta fundin og í þessum möttur röð. Her tænari tún skal prætika evangelie fyrir landsmónun okkara. Og við vilja gjarna genga inn undir þessa löti og í olvara og tign. Og við karlega til okkara landsmenn að þær múu vera frelstir. Það skal vera hjartans bön okkara og innstjö okkara æsinni nú á þessum sústa möti sem bráðurinn kemur að tæla á hann. Og við vita, við vita það framan, við vistu það framan undan og við það var sannað að þessu kvöldinni að evangelie um Jesus Kristus, lögingar og krossdeyja hansara, uppræst hansara frá hinnum deyja, hefur og í sér kraftina til að nökta hvern einasta törf tjá hverjum einasta mennisja. Læja ein deyjan syndara úr deyjanum og inn í lífi, úr myrkri inn í ljósi, frá satans valdi og inn í rýki elska var sonar gods, fyrir að gefa alla gleði og styrki hér í lífinum og sújanni fagna þeim um frelsti heima og í himli. Fæjir í himli, við takka fyrir Jesus Kristus frelsara okkara og byrja um að hann verður dýrmettur hesa kvöldarstundna við. Amen. Ég skal rauna að byrja hana halsu fram á einskun. Nú bróður okkar er að sænast að möti. Og ég vil takka honum, það sem við vilja takka honum fyrir er að hann vildi takka móti innbjá unnsni, vera okkar að millin og prætika evangelie. Og við innsjö honum nægi herrans Jesu Krist og sikning Guds og að læginni fram yfir. Dear brother Louis Palau, some of us had heard about you. Some of us had read about you and some of us have read books by you. That is all very good, and it has been encouraging, but now you are with us in person, and we do thank you for visiting our islands. As this will be the last meeting while you are visiting our islands, I take the opportunity on behalf of the inviting assemblies to express our heartfelt thanks to you as well as your family and co-workers for taking our invitation seriously so you in your busy, busy schedule did find spare time for this lonely spot on, in the North Atlantic Ocean so small that it does not appear on most average maps. <clears throat> the islands and especially the people have been sheltered and blessed by the grace of God as the gospel has been preached and souls saved. And for the furtherance of the gospel, you have been invited for these meetings. We pray to God and we do trust in God that your preaching will have everlasting consequences as sinner turn to God and for the strengthening of the faith of individuals and assemblies as well. While we are studying the word of God in the filling of the Holy Spirit. Again, thank you. God bless you. Grace be with you. And may I <coughs> repeat the well-known verse ending the second letter to the Corinthians. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with you all. Þeir eisa að við takka öllum sem jólti. Þeir eisa að við fyrir að takka sangkórunum fyrir sangin. Og vegna sangkóri í hán skal ég takka þeim og mongu lúttekar og erastæðanu frá sem vildi stúla þeir sem möttur og við að syngja fyrir okkur og saman við okkur. Og svo ekki minnst, takk til öll sem vildi koma og lústa og gútsigni tykkur. Svo verður það sem hýnu kvöldinni að bróður okkar að kemur fram og helsar. Thank you so much, doctor, for those words. Takk fyrir Rottmund fyrir þessu helsina. I'm very grateful to have been invited to the Faroe Islands. Ég er svo sér að takk saman fyrir að hafa verið bóðin til þetta fyrir ég. My wife and I and my team have looked forward to this for a long time. Kona minu ég og samverka menn mújinu við að hókt fram á því þess og nú gegn longri tói. And we really are leaving very sad because we've loved this place. Og nú við færa svo færa við sorgu jörstanan tói við að hafa elskað þetta plossum. You were right that it doesn't show on many maps. Já, það var rætt að maður sér ekki fyrir að neik von verðinskorstun. And when I said to many of my friends I'm going to to preach on the Faroe Islands. They thought it was some other islands we were trying to steal from the British. <laughs> but we're not. We're trying to steal them from the Danish. But actually you have stolen our hearts. And it's so amazing to see such a crowd here tonight. And over there in the other hall is just as full as this one is full over here. So there is no more room in these two buildings here. But there's still room in heaven. And uh, I want to thank the choir again. How are you, choir? All right? Ah, very weak. Are you all right? Yeah. All right, all right, very good. The next time you got to start shouting from the first day, you know? I know the elders get nervous, but forget the elders, yeah? <laughs> oh, you got to translate, yes. Ah, uh, uh, well, okay, okay. this morning we had a wonderful time with the children. And we've already heard uh, many stories of people's lives beginning to change. I heard about a young man who was going to a rock concert or music concert. And on the radio he heard uh, about the meetings here. And he turned his car around and came here. And when he heard the gospel he gave his life to Jesus Christ. That's exciting. That's what it's all about. And there are many other stories that I don't have time to tell you right now. I want to thank the committee for all that you've done for me, all of you. Uh, we have been treated like we were a royal family. And I thank you very much. And I congratulate you for the arrangements have been so perfect. I have been well fed. I've eaten plenty of lamb and whale. And I just, uh, I'm going to go hunting for whale in the South Atlantic now. But uh, I'll try and look for it wherever I can. It's been three memorable days. And we were saying in the team it feels like a week almost. Because you've kept us so busy. 
And we've loved every minute of it. I'd like you to see three of my fellow team members who are here. It wouldn't be fair for you to always look at me. An evangelist alone cannot do too much. Actually, there are more team members, but only three came to the Faroe Islands. Most of you have met my wife and so on. But I want to introduce one of my closest friends who is coming forward now. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll ask my son Kevin to stand. He's not here just having a vacation. Although he's had a very good time. Uh, he works in our team. He graduated from university two years ago. He got married and then joined our team. And he oversees the organization of campaigns all over the world. He's been in many countries. And I thank God that he works with me on the team. And then secondly, the man I wanted to introduce, Mr. David Jones, over there. David Jones, handsome. We've worked 10 years together, and he has many responsibilities. And then most of all in this campaign, we want to introduce again Mr. Alan Johnson from England. Where is he? Oh. Alan. Huh? He's disappeared. Oh, well. The English always disappear. Yeah. Uh, he must be in the other building or he must be working around somewhere. Uh, he directed and was in touch with your committee. Every night I've asked some questions. How many of you have been here the three nights? Can I see your hands? Ah, all right. Oh, faithful friends, huh? Right. How many have been here two nights? For you have it faithful. All right, all right. How many of you are here for the first time tonight? Fishte fair ikvald. Choir, let's give them a welcome, huh? Come on. All right. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Welcome tonight, and I hope that uh, when I give the invitation, you will make your commitment to Christ. So Christus. Some 250 have made a decision in these last two days. And tonight may be your night. And then the last thing is this, I wish you would pray for me and the team. We're going to Copenhagen tomorrow morning, God willing. That is a hard city, spiritual. The people are very nice. Uh, but when you talk about the gospel, they get very hard. We will be at the forum, forum beginning Tuesday night, God willing, through next Sunday. If you have friends over there, call them up and tell them to go. And then we're also going to Brazil in September, to Indonesia in August, and uh, to Indonesia. India in November to four cities of India. November till, uh, till India. So please pray for us. So And maybe someday, God willing, we'll come back to the Pharaohs. Yeah, but you got to build a longer runway at the airport. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise the plane comes in too hard. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, anyway, for her landing. I've, had a, I've had a great time here, yeah, I have to dial it here. and uh, I look forward to coming back after we sing and preach. Now we're going to go and greet the people over there in the other hall down there. So, thank you, God bless you. Ja, og så så gjerne synker og sanker og fyrer okkon høyre inn til Atlan Øyur.
Ja, vi har några kunder efter kvällt som vi har haft hela kvällen. Och den första som jag ska säga si är några som samkommande i Ebenezer har vi avkört. Och det är att börja möta i andra kvällen klockan åtta är bra till ett evangeliskt möte. Och det är så många som passar in här hjärtligt välkommen till. Och så är det och i samband med sangpläge som vi har hört och som vi tycker att många kan glädja fyra. Kärs väl i kvöld och det är inte bläg i hans vittigon. Det är välkomna att göra det här. Och aftast och i det som bläg någon här har vi lås på lau själv och skriva några år som det kanske ännu inte har läsa det här. Så kärs väl, det är inte hans vittigon. Och så är det att det färre atlanden till strandfärsen som är nöjda för det. Några av oss är vita och det är först Tettnan. Hon fyrr ur Lörvík och i kvöld klockan 00.20. Det vill säga 20 minuter över 12 ur Lörvík. Sam fyrr av Västmanna klockan halvgång 12. Av Västmanna till Öyrakjökvar halvgång 12. Tröndur fyrr till Skåpena klockan 22.45. Klockan 3 kvartier till 11 för tröntor till skåpenar. Dikvan, somalöjes, trygårter till ett lå, innan tofter. Ritan, för ut till nöldsjär klockan 22.32, klockan halvgång ett lå för ritan till nöldsjär. Smiril, turen klockan 21.00, är brötter till klockan 22.32. Smiril cyklar klockan halvgång ett lå. Och i samband vid eka turerna kör det byggda löjer somalöjes. Låg 400 från PF Bil klockan 22.35 till Lörvågar. Till Lörvågar klockan 5 minuter över halvgång ett lov. Låg 100 från PF Bil klockan 22.30 till Västmanna. Till Västmanna klockan halvgång ett lov. Kort vid Öysnö i Sore och i samband vid turerna Kjasmyrle ur Torsan klockan 22.30 klockan halvgång ett lov. Så är det Torsten, han cyklar till Klaxvågar i kvöld klockan ett lov. Torsten till Klaxvågar i kvöld klockan ett lov. Och i morgen är en brötning och hon är ur Klaxvåg klockan halvgång tjej till Havnar. Men han som är tuttning är nog hentan klockan halvgång tuttje, tårsavn tvåröre. Klockan halvgång tuttje i morgen, tårsavn tvåröre. Och så här har vi... Efter det kvöldet några ära kundkjörer som ösnig har tyttning. Och det är att i samband med höttlarna så är det utgångar som de vita. Och här attan fyra, här är en utgång. Och här attan fyra, en utgång. Och så är det ära utgång själva till här ivre som har tyttning. För det är som har avbryt när vi kundkjörer att ha väl. Så att de släppa väl ur höttlarna om det här nöjot. Så är det i samband med allt det här väldiga fyrröjska arbetet som vi gör in i höttlen här. Det ska allt täckas väck och i kvöld. Och vi har varit och med till att lära för att se gott det är sett upp. Och det har varit nöjt var hänt till att hjälpa. Och vi har varit att det har varit sådär i kvöld. Alla stålarna skulle täckas ur höttlen och köras om man är i Benesar. Och i Österskolan. Så det som på en närkramad att kunna hjälpa till vid tog. Det är det här bort att ha möte. Och när jag ser att vi är över i Österskolan och andra är nere i Benesar och tänker och emot det. Och så är det i samband med dessa här böckerna som jag har nämnt. Ja. De tackar det här först. Det är hända böcken, Lås Palau. Lufsövan till Lås Palau. Och när det kan ha dessa böckerna om det inte är öjarna. Och med till att gå på och vi vill ha upp att alla höjtaste han befaller en slöka bok. Och så är det hentan som heter Ólykar, Ösne skriver av Lås Palau, omsettel förrest, samband med Jakob och Josef. Och när Ösne får här aftre i bokasalgen och här i Ösne ära böcker att få, så gör så väl och gör det här. Och de som är ju i bokarinchen, som lör sig nu, har vi inte för nöjen att köpa henne utan att de inte att göra det vi har vågat till någon annan. Här så bor böckerna fåast så att höjman som är i bokarinchen och lörkärnan. Och teknikalisten, han ligger så att det inte har ganska skriva och han hittar i kvar ständer och honom och vi mest ju åvast om det ska vara dags eller ångkilst bönarbrevet som det inte ska få sändande. 
so you can do it on the show bond, on the motor or you can do it on the show bond. And if you don't have to use it for the can it be good to them that you have a show man or an entrepreneur who doesn't have to do it. And they can do it on the show bond or on the show bond. And they can write a clear name and a clear name so they can do it on the show bond. Það sem þið innst já. Svo skal ég sýja í samband við þeir sem eru hér og sælja að venda mér til þeir ungu og bötnina sem hafa verið á metalega fríjali þessar dýjanar og þeir hefur á metalega stóran tutning að við eru svo fríjali sem við kunna og að undir smá bötn að fara eldrinni ansa eftir þeir mann svoleis að þeir möttu kemur um á því endanum að þeir ekki áreikvar og það nekra máta so that the people who are in the world are not going to be able to do it with the children and the children. So we all know that we are in the world and 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 we are in the world. And so we should say that in the same way that we are in the world is that every person who is in the world or the people who are in the world will take the pictures of the people who come fram. This is a personal search for the people who take the pictures so the show marks not to take a look at the minutes, but it's not to do that. Thank you. The next speaker is the first one. The first one is the first one. The first one is the first one. The first one is the first one. It's not so easy to get the first one. It's very difficult. Mae ac wrth yn dyslyd a sŵtja gwrs y fyddai sy'n gyfi. Hefwas da eich i leo as y fyddai yn hyr a sŵtja at tyr ydl som sy'n gyfi. Edw eich i sŵtja yn eich gran som eich i sy'n gyfi. O te e'r fysglia fraluigt. E haldi fysgol sy'n gyfi mae'r fjord i achter y gwald. Mae'r fjord ydw. Christus e'r sferre til hwymsyn stawr o neu. E a sanneli at e'r an. Yeah. Og það er að spera á fórtjálló. Pál Ellison hefur hér við þér. Við syndja og syndra trætt saman og þið er jú gott að syndja saman svo kannski að við tekka og eins og við sungu í halda þessum fyrsta kvöldi þið er nummer 36 og litt Jesus hægri, litt Jesus hægri, litt hann upp svo hann verið eins og er. Så skulle du rösa ganska ena på tre. Gott. Alltså jag vill ja. Nu. Let Jesus ha.
Jag är nu släppt att jag ser inte mer. Det är nästan inte att stäcka. Du nu skulle vi ha en sangbok ur Klaxvik att sänka för jag. Det är så väl. Det är några unga folk ur Klaxvik som kommer att sänka en för sänka för jag.
Orsökin till att det sunko i Johanna nog så nekko var glad och det var gott. Och vi vet inte var så öla glädje det var att vi hade en teknisk antropologa som nu är löst och nu är vi öll glädje efter. Och halta fram vid att sanka och synka, dyraste Jesus, det vill jag älska.
Ja, og nu er det en lus på lavet kjømmer at tale til dere, så skulle vi et etterfall av til å synge og lytte sine sammen, og det skal være en sanker som hører vi evne til å gjøre. Nummer 32. Nummer 32. Jeg hadde vi skulle synge første og søste vers av sangen om. Ta personen og en del jøa skal, og tøyen ut i er. Og vi reises og synger sammen. Ja, la dere stemme ut et sånn. Ha passion i noen tal jeg også skal og tøyene ut i øyn. Ta i fakle morgonen når opp i fri. Ta i herren kjem og ly og rå er søyn i heima med. Ta i frelste skjær i sauna sted. That song was so appropriate for tonight. Uh, we sing it in Spanish too, and I could sing it in Spanish with you. It's a hymn that's known all over the world. And now on this last night of this great campaign, <clears throat> I want to ask all of us to bow our heads in prayer. Here in the great hall and over there, in the adjacent hall too. Let's just bow our heads. This is the closing night of this campaign. And uh, we will never again meet like tonight. Never again will this group be together this way. And as you sit there with your head bowed, don't let this opportunity pass by. Tonight is a night of decision for many of you. And I want to lead in a prayer before we give the message. Today, a father asked me to pray for a son that is not walking with God a mother asked me to pray for her son who married a non-Christian woman and now he's divorced he's not walking with God and the family is all hurting and suffering and then I also want to pray for the wife of a dear friend of mine she is dizzy and she cannot come to Tonight. And I feel a burden to pray for her to be healed. Let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father. That you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you that you're Almighty, O God. And that you have power to turn people around. Oh, Lord, we pray for this rebellious son. Wherever he is right now, that he would turn his heart to you. And then, Lord, for this other son, who disobeyed you, and now is divorced, and he's hurting, 
His family is hurting. Oh Lord, that today he will come back to you. And be forgiven again. And walk with you again. And be happy again. And Lord, I pray for this woman who is sick. She's your child. And she'd love to be here tonight. Oh God, that you would heal her even tonight. And that she'd be able to rejoice again in full health. Now, Lord, help us to think about heaven. And oh Lord, that all those who want to get ready tonight will receive Jesus Christ and be sure that they have eternal life. We want to lift you up, Jesus. Help us to do it. We pray in his name. Amen. Amen. A few moments ago, the young woman was singing a beautiful song. To think that one day I'll be there. You know, there is a hope for a glorious future for all of us. If we are willing to open our hearts to Jesus Christ. Here you are in this great hall tonight. Or you may be in the one next door over there. But there is a glorious future. That God has prepared for all of us. It's in heaven. And he tells us how to get there. Some time ago I was in London, England. And on the platform was a friend of mine. He told us a story. He's only had one little child. It was a little girl. And when she was two years old, uh, she'd suddenly died. She was a little thing. And uh, one day when they were not aware of it, she put her two little fingers into an electrical plug. And it was a 220 power. And before they could get her, they heard her shout. And my friend Charles went running. By the time he got there, the little sweetheart was dead. And there was nothing he could do. He cried when he told us that story. In front of 20,000 people. It was his only girl. The only child God gave he and his wife. And the little sweetheart died. But my friend is a believer. And he knows he will see her in heaven in due time. In that same campaign. A friend of mine called Leighton Ford. He gave a word. In that campaign. And he told us with tears. About his son, 21 years old. A tall, handsome young man. An athletic fellow. A man who loved Jesus Christ. At the university. A very good runner. And one day he was running in a mile race. And he collapsed. And when the doctor saw him, they said he needs surgery, but it's not too complicated. However, when they took him to the hospital, the doctors were so relaxed, the father, the father didn't even go to the hospital. And suddenly he got a phone call. And his oldest son, Sandy, had suddenly died on the operating table. Mr. Ford is so broken by that. It happened seven years ago. And he still talks about it all the time. He even wrote a book called Sandy. 
Han enda skriver en bok om Old Sandy. And you know all of us have loved ones who have died already. Och vi vet att vi har ett onkel som är död. And we've got to know where do people go when they die. Och vi vet att jag vet att kvar färre folk har dött. It is the most vital subject in the whole world. Att det är tydligen mest evne att en hemmen. Whether you live in a free country like in the Faroes. Och du lever i en fransk land som i Färjan. Or you live in an enslaved nation. If you're going to heaven, in a way it doesn't matter where you live. Because all normal people care about this subject. They care very much in their hearts. Where are their loved ones going? Where are we going? Where do the children go? Even boys and girls think about it a lot. My youngest son Stephen, uh, when he was a little younger, Often I would go to his bedroom at night. And over and over he would ask the same question. Dad, if I die tonight, uh, am I going to heaven? How am I going to get there? And if I go first, when will you get there? And when will mom get there? He wanted to be sure that he understood it. And it's so silly for parents not to tell their children. But do you know where you're going? Can you tell your children how to get there? If you don't, why don't you get ready? Even here tonight. And I will give you an opportunity at the end. To make a decision. To get ready. You know when people go on a vacation. They make preparations months in advance. They think about what clothes they're going to take. They buy the ticket. They make the hotel reservations. They tell their friends. Who's going to pick up the newspaper in the house? Who's going to look after the house when they're gone? All sorts of preparations. Just for a vacation. Why not prepare for the biggest trip of your life? Why not get ready for that trip? All other questions come next. Questions of freedom are important. But nothing like the trip to heaven. Food is important. But your trip to heaven is far more. And you know there's so much confusion and ignorance about the subject. People say the funniest and silliest things. The other day I read what some children were saying. They were not Christian children evidently. One boy called Randy said. He said. When I die, I don't want to go to heaven. Because I want to be with all my friends. Another, bo another girl said, you, uh, she said, uh, when you die, God takes care of you. Like your mother did when you were alive. Except that God doesn't shout at you all the time. These people have funny ideas about heaven. Another boy had a wrong idea about heaven. He said, when you die, they bury you. In the ground. But your soul goes to heaven. Your body can't go to heaven. Because it's too crowded up there already. He had a funny idea about heaven, that boy. Another, what? Yeah. Another one said, When you die, you don't have to do homework in heaven. Unless your teacher is there also. <laughs> and the last one I want to tell you is this. Everyone cries when somebody dies. Because they don't want to be left behind. 
Now, what does the Bible say about heaven? Men vad säger Bibeln om himmelen? We're going to read John 14:1 to 6. Vi får läsa Johannes 14:1 och till och med 6. John chapter 14. Johannes 14 verses 1 to 6. This is what Jesus says about heaven. Listen carefully to every word. Every word is worth gold. This is the word of the Lord. Listen to it. Johannes 14, 8. Hjärta tycker att ötterst inte, det tycker vi är god, tycker vi är med vi. Och i huset färgsmunds är det nöjt med bostäder. Vär det så har jag sagt det kunde Så jag färre borster att göra det konstiga till rajer. Och ta jag färre borster och har det gjort det konstiga till rajer. Kom jag efter och tänkte att det kunde till mojn. Så är det inte skulle vara här som är ära. Och här som är färre vita till vägen. Thomas säger vi han, Herre, vi vet inte kvar då först. Och hur skulle vi vita vägen? Jesus svarar i honom, är ära vävren, sannlejken och lyve. Ångjen kommer till färgen utan vi mer. Now Revelation, the last book of the Bible, 21, verses 1 to 5. 1 through 5. Now saw a new heaven and a new earth, and the first heaven and the first earth were far away, and the earth was not long. I saw a new heaven, Hit nutja Jerusalem, komma ner av himlen från gode, tillgörde han som bror, och jag brukt vi frire brukar med synen. Och jag hörde rött från hasaten, hon säger, Hygg, bostad var gott i ögen människan, han ska bygga var tjantajmon, det skulle vara fältkansare, och god tjant vara tjantajmon och vara god herra. Han ska turska kvart var av egen herra, dagen ska inte vara långer, och kvart sorg, skrutt eller pojna ska vara långer, till ett fyrra är färre. Han som i har sett något sätt säger, Hick, jag ger dig allt nytt. Och han säger, vem är skriva? Då är det här år, är det trovärd och sånt. Now I'd like to read the verse 17 of chapter 22. Och så vill jag läsa vers 16 och 22 kapitlen. I'm going to read it phrase by phrase and you interpret it. Jag får läsa det sättning för sättning och så vill jag tolka. Listen to God's invitation to you in this hall. And to you in the other hall too. He says, the spirit and the bride say, come. Let him who hears say, come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come. And whoever wishes, let him come and take of the free gift of life. The water of life. The Lord says to you tonight, Come. Come. Come again. Come after. If you are thirsty, come. I give it to you as a free gift. Once a little boy had a father who was an atheist. But the father sent him to church one Sunday. And when the boy got back after church, he said, Daddy, today I was invited to go to heaven. And I accepted. And you know, here you are tonight. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I am here to invite you to go to heaven and to accept now. The most dramatic trip of your life will be your flight into eternity. Make heaven your destination. There are many things we don't understand about heaven. But the Bible says there's enough revealed so we can know what we need to know. The Bible says now we see in a mirror darkly. But when we get there we shall see clearly. And you know God invites you to go to heaven. Why would you reject such an invitation? That is the eternal destiny that he wants for you. Everyone thinks about eternity. 
I have met Russian generals who want to know about eternity. I was able to lead a British princess to Jesus Christ. She wanted to know how to have eternal life. And if you're an honest man and an honest woman, you too want to know how to get to heaven. Now the Bible teaches first heaven is the Father's house. Heaven is, heaven is as real as London or Paris or New York. It is a real place. A place that God has prepared for all of us who know Jesus Christ. Jesus said in my father's house there are many rooms. The Bible says what no eye has seen no ear has heard nor the heart of man has imagined God has prepared for those who love him Jesus said he'd gone to prepare a place for us it's a place of absolute perfection it is the father's house and he wants you to go there why not come? Why not accept? It's the Father's house. And he says, I've gone to prepare it for you. For you and for you. And he says, you have to receive Jesus Christ. The Father's house has many mansions. And it's waiting for you. But you must make your decision. Here in this hall. There in the other hall. You don't just go there by chance. You don't go just because you're a good person. You go there because you have Jesus Christ. Are you going to the Father's house? Are you ready to go? Are you prepared tonight? Have you arranged your accounts with God? It's the Father's house. Secondly, he says, heaven is the happy and eternal place for the children of God. No one can stop the pure joy in heaven. The Bible says he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death shall be no more. No more mourning or crying, no more illness. There will be music and singing in heaven. It's for the children of God. For those who have Jesus Christ. The Bible says to all those who receive him. He gives them power to become children of God. Children of God are those who receive Jesus Christ. Let the cynics laugh if they want. Let the scoffers make fun. But I thank God that there's a heaven. And I'm going to heaven when I die because Jesus Christ is in my heart. Heaven is filled with my friends. My father has been there for over 40 years. My grandma has been there for many years. One of my best friends was killed in a motorcycle accident. When we were 19 years of age. And he's been there for over 20 years. I look forward to the day when I get to heaven. There are millions of people over there. There are more people in heaven than in hell. All the millions of babies who died when they were little. They're all in heaven. Of such is the kingdom of heaven, the Bible says. And it's going to be filled with people. The Bible says there are millions of millions and thousands of thousands. Once we were in a crusade in Fresno, California. And a very old lady. Mother-in-law to one of my missionary friends. She was dying of cancer. 
Honda we kreft. She was an older lady. Hon var en gammal kvinna. And I went to see her the last day of her life. Och för att visa henne för att visa henne senaste dagen hon var alive. Two of her little granddaughters were there. Två av mina döttrar henne var där. And we went into the room. Vi får in the room. And she could hardly realize I was there. Och hon kunde nära inte få vi att vi är här. And suddenly she looked up. Knappt så hukt ju And she said, Louise, I never thought you would come. Och hon säger, Louise, jag hade inte räknat med att du kom. She said, this morning I thought I had almost gone to heaven. Och hon säger, i morgon kunde jag helt bestämt att jag var färdig kom till himmelen. And then I realized I was still here in the hospital. Men så blev jag klar över att jag stod där vid sjukhuset. And I and she said, I thought you might come to see me. Och jag hukt säger att du får komma och hälsa på mig. She said, would you pray for me one last time? Och kanske du bjuder för mig så säger att du lärt nåt om mig. So I put my arms around Mrs. Panther. Så jag tog arma mina And we hugged each other. Och vi hals femt och från annan. And we prayed together. Och vi bad oss hemma. And then she called her two little granddaughters. Och så ber hon, så säger hon vid här om det inte. And he said to both of them. Och hon säger vi bor. Now grandma is going to heaven. Nu amma för det himmels. And one of the girls began to cry. Och en av de gentlen började gråta. And she said, Grandma, I don't want you to go. I don't want you to go. Amma, jag men amma, jag vill inte du ska färda, jag vill inte. She said, but I must go. Och så säger jag må färda. And then she said to the two little girls. Och så säger hon vid oss lite. I want you to be ready. And when your turn comes to come to heaven, she said, "I'll be at the gate." So skal jeg være apostlenen, waiting for you with open arms. Vi apostlenen bor i et af de åbne armer. Just be sure that you get there. Vi bliver sikre at du kommer. And we had to say goodbye. Og så måtte vi sige farvel. And the next day, og dagen efter, her son-in-law. Said to me. Say you mer. Yesterday evening she went to be with the Lord. Och just kvällen tar fallen för att vi är här nu. What a beautiful way to go to heaven. Och för en underfödd mat jag färd till himmel. She couldn't wait to go. Hon kunde inte bygga ett. She was in her eighties. Hon var i forsaren nu. She loved her family. Hon älskar sin familj. But she was ready. Men hon var till rejer. Are you ready to go to heaven tonight? Är du till rejer att färd till himmel i kvällen? What if a drunken driver comes down the road as you go home? Kvällen om en om en drunken bil för att kämma och kolla att det har du för hemma kvällen. And hits you. Och räcka till. And you are dead. Och du är dead. Where will you go tonight? Var färd du så i kvällen? Why not go to heaven? För att färd till himmel. How foolish to not be prepared. Och för dåra att inte ha varit till rejer. God says to you. God säger till dig. I want to save you. Jag inte frälsa dig. I want to come into your life. Jag inte komma in i ditt liv. I want to make you my child. Jag inte gärna till mutbar. I want you to be ready for heaven. Jag inte du ska vara till rejer till himmel. Heaven is a happy place. Himmel är en glädjefylld plats. An eternal place. An evig plats. For the children of God. För de barnen Guds. And then thirdly, heaven is a place of true holiness. So er himmel er plass kvart er sannor heila leitje. It's a place of moral purity. Og her er moralske rein leitje uten at fulle skal male. The Bible says, nothing unclean shall enter there. At antje orant kommer in her. You say, well, if nothing unclean can enter heaven. Oh, jeg må sige, at jeg antje orant kan komme ind i himmelen. How can any one of us get in? Hvordan skal så nægter alle kunne komme ind her? We're all unclean. Du vet jo at orant. We've all sinned. Vi har været sinte. We've all got a filthy mind. Vi har været et et dårligt sinde. How can anybody get in there? Hvordan skal nægter alle kunne komme ind her? The Bible says. Bibelen siger. We can all get in there. Og vi kan alle komme ind her. If we wash our robes in the blood of the Lamb. Om vi renser klæder og kører i blodet af sin. We can make them white. Or we can achieve the white through the blood of Jesus Christ. We can blow Jesus Christ. You say I don't understand that. Oh, so you have to shill you. How can you wash yourself in the blood of the Lamb? How can you come and wash yourself in the blood of the Lamb? I don't understand that either. I shill you the hell rich. But the Bible teaches that somehow on the cross, a mystery took place. When Jesus Christ was hanging on the cross, God the Father took away all our uncleanness and laid it on Jesus Christ. And somehow in the mystery of that cross, Jesus took care of all our fears. So earn I a Jesus at la hesa orange cup. All our uncleanness. At la okara orange cup. But the Bible clearly teaches. O Bible lærer pure grace. Certain people will never get in there. Men det er nogle mennesker som ongår vil komme ind her. Those who reject Jesus Christ. Hey som er nogle af Jesus Kristus. Will never get in there. Det vil ongår de komme ind her. Those who make fun of the gospel. Hey som spotter evangeliet. Will never get in there. Kommer ongår de ind her. Those who are indifferent. 
Tens mir Lukas hell. Will never get in there. Vom Anga die in hell. No matter how much they may go to church. Oh und sag wusste nicht der ging Gott und ich stelle möte. If they've never opened their heart to Christ. Und der Anga die ab nach der Jasta für Jesus Christus. They never get in there. Der kommt Anga die in hell. And therefore you have to make a decision. Tu jeder da Thomas der kann auch. Bible says if we walk in the light. Bible says ja tun wir lieber in Jerusalem. As God is in the light. So lass uns gut in Jerusalem. We have freedom with God. So I have it fratsi if we have fellowship with God. So I have a sample of God. We are clean before the Lord. So I will rain if you had enough. And it says the blood of Jesus. Und das stand der blau Jesus sagt. Cleanses from all sin. Rens er kommt von alle sin. Supposing you were to die tonight. No, hoxa da tu will tu doide qual. And you had to stand before God. Und du so kommst stand da if you good. And God what to ask you tonight. O Gott schätt das burnen jene qual. What right do you have to enter my heaven? Ko je sagt denn der Herr wird tuer kommen in die Himmelen. What would you say? What would you say? Ja, kan vil du svara? There is only one key to heaven. Det är en lyckel till himmel. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christus. There's only one ticket into heaven. Det är en fjärde själ till himmel. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christus. There's only one credit card that will get you into heaven. Det är ett kreditkort som för dig in i himmelen. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christus. There's only one password to enter heaven. Det är en kod som gäller himmelen. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christus. Have you opened your heart to Christ? Har du öppnat ditt hjärta för Jesus? Is he your savior? Er han tun frelsaren? Does he live in your heart? Bur han ut i hjärta? Are you sure? Är du visser? Have you received him? Hev du tidig mot honom? Have you made a decision? Hev du tidig sig ut i? You say, but Louis, I've gone to church all my life. Ja men Louis, jag har gått till kyrkan och mött allt mitt liv. That's wonderful. Oj men det är gott. But it's not enough. Men det är nog. You've got to have Christ in your heart. Du måste ha Jesus Kristus ut i din liv. You say, Louis, I've been baptized. Ja men Louis, det är dopet. That's wonderful. Okay, det är lätt. So have I. So är det. But you know that. That didn't get me to heaven. Man, there it's first. Only Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christus. You say, Luis, I've been confirmed. Yeah, man, see, Luis, you're confirmed. That's wonderful. Okay, it's wonderful. So have I. So are you. But I had to receive Jesus Christ. Man, you must take him to Jesus personally. Have you ever received him? Have you never taken him out? Have you opened your heart to him? Have you opened your heart to him? Are you sure that you have eternal life? Are you sure that you have eternal life? Jesus said. Jesus said. I give them eternal life. Give it time on Albert Louis. You shall never perish. Och det skulle aldrig ni att lära Albert för tappas. And no one can snatch you out of my hands. Och ingen kan ta dig han ur handen mot honom. Heaven is my home. Himmelen är mitt hem. Not because I'm good. Är du tjej i gåvor? I'm not good. Du är inte gåvor. I'm a sinner. Är du en syndare? Heaven is my home. Himmelen är mitt plats, mitt hem. Because Christ lives in my heart. Så Kristus bor i min hjärta. Does he live in your heart? Bor han i din hjärta? Have you made your decision? Har du tagit en avgång? Have you surrendered to Christ? Har du evig givit dig till Kristus? And then heaven is an eternity of service to God. Och så är det himmelen en evenlighet och kväve för att tjäna Gud. The Bible says, Bibeln säger att His servants shall serve Him forever. Att tjäna är hans sådan skulle tjäna för att ägna hans sådan i alla evigheter. In heaven. Och i himlen. Eternity is enjoyed in all its dimensions. Vi är evenlighet, vi är evenlighet nytter av alla nötter. Whoever serves God on earth. Han som tänker god i hela jorden. Will serve him in heaven. För att tänka honom i himlen. Whoever serves Satan on earth. Och han som tänker Satan i hela jorden. Will serve him in hell. För att tänka Satan i helvetet. You were created for God. Du var skapad till god. And there is only rest in serving God. Och det är bara kvila och att tänka god. Get on your knees tonight. Och kom att ni knö i kvällt med vänner. Make him your master and your lord. Och ge han till en herre och mästare. Offer him a life of service. Ge han en resten av livet till en eternaste. And do it now. Don't wait for next week. It's a boy at the last week. God brought you here tonight. Go to the first to hear it. He's prepared your mind. Han vill fira dig att du sinner. He's prepared your soul. Han vill fira dig att du nästan. He gives you a tremendous opportunity. Och han vill ge dig en så fantastisk och väldig en möjlighet. You have to make a decision. Du måste ta en avgång. You cannot serve two masters. Du kan inte ta en av två man har. Jesus said. Jesus säger. You will either love the one and hate the other. Annars älskar du annan. Or hate the one. Or hate the one and love the other. Hate the Mozart. You cannot serve God and money. To can you turn a bad good to your mammon? Are you ready for heaven? Är du till rätta till himmelen? It's the Father's house. Hade färgen sin hus? It's a place of joy. Hade det plats för glädje? Of eternal service. Och för en evig tänast att förbrända. It's the home of the children of God. Hej med jag bättre än Gud. Have you prepared to go there? Have you just the right to come here? The way to heaven is Jesus Christ. No, we are in the himmel, so Jesus Christ. He said, "I am the way." He said, "I am the way." And the truth and the life. Oh, sunlight, you know, live. You can only come to the Father. You can best come at the Father through me. Have you entered the door? 
Echte vrienden, Jack nog dit nacht. Are you walking with him? Liever de samen horen. Jesus said there are two roads. Jesus said there are two ways. The wide road leads to destruction. Van brede wegen voor het ondergang. Eternal damnation. Er wie een doom. It's called hell in the Bible. U bepaalt wel de kat laat je hel weten. Jesus said they will go away to eternal condemnation. Jesus said het heeft er bocht tot er wie een doom. But the righteous to eternal life. Men zegt dat we zullen tot er wie leef. Where are you going when you die? Are you prepared? It's a simple choice. It's either yes or no. Jesus Christ. The narrow road leads to heaven. He says, I give them eternal life. You will never perish. No one can snatch you out of my hand. Jesus Christ is the only door. Jesus Christ in ein as the hurren. The only road. Dan ein as the weveren. The only way. Dan ein as the weveren. There is no other way. Anchen underlei. But he opened the the way through the cross. Maar hij opnaai weeën uit jokken krossen. And through his resurrection. Oh, jokken opreist het zijn. Because after he died on the cross. De acht nacht aan dojja krossen. Jesus Christ was buried. Dat werd aan jaar over. On the third day he rose from the dead. Drie dagen is hij rijs aan opatter. And he's been alive for two thousand years again. Aan de weer een leven zo jaar nu twee duizend jaar. The Bible teaches. That after he rose on the third day, fifty days later, forty days later, he took his disciples up to a little mountain. And on that mountain, he said to his disciples, "Go into all the world, preach the gospel to everybody, and I am with you always, even to the end of the age." And as he was blessing them. The Bible teaches. He, he began to ascend into heaven. And as the 500 were looking up, Jesus Christ went up into heaven. And a cloud came and covered them. And suddenly, when they were looking, two angels came down and said to them. You Galileans, what are you looking up into heaven? This same Jesus who was taken up into heaven will come again in the same way you saw him going up into heaven. And uh, Jesus said, I am going to prepare a place for you and I will come again and take you to myself so that where I am there you may be also are you prepared for that day? it could happen tonight Jesus Christ could come back any moment he said I don't know the date <coughs> only the father knows the date so we've got to be ready and there is a curtain between us and heaven. <coughs> but behind that curtain is Jesus. And he is ready preparing a place for us. In a sense, heaven begins on earth. We get to heaven by the mercy of God. Not by good works. By the mercy of God. My father died. When I was 10 years old, he was a young man. He was only 35 years old. And uh, he had opened his heart to Christ in a campaign very much like this one. Although it was very small. And when he was 35, he suddenly got sick. The doctors couldn't do anything for him. And on his last day on earth, the whole family was around the bed. And he began to sing a Christian song. He sang this song, clapping his hands. His song was about heaven. And he sang it three times. He was so exhausted from the temperature that was eating him up. He was yellow from the fever. His lips were parted and broken. His head fell on the pillow. 
Og hødd hans var að datt aftur á hann. And he pointed up to heaven. Men, men peikandi upp mot í himmelum. And he said, I'm going to be with Jesus. Han sagði, ég fyrir að vera við Jesus. Which is far better. Som er nekva fyrir að betri. And a few moments later. Og hann að löta sættinu. He gone to be with the Lord. Som verða hann saman við herra hann. I was only 10 years old. But ever since that day, my desire is to go around the world and say to people, that's the way you can go to heaven. Knowing that you're going with a song in your heart, with the assurance of eternal life. The Bible says, God has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son. Your life begins begins to change when you enter the kingdom of God. If anyone is in Christ, they are a new person altogether. The old things pass away. Everything becomes new. No matter who you are tonight, you may be rebellious. You may have blasphemed the name of God. You may have made fun of other believers. You may even have made other people doubt their faith. But if you come back to the Lord tonight, if you take the big step, you can decide your destiny tonight. Destiny is decided by the cross of Jesus Christ. Where will you be a thousand years from tonight? Have you ever thought about that? Where will you be a thousand years from tonight? Depends on what you do with Jesus Christ. You, you can receive him right now in an instant all you have to do is invite him in to give up your sin your old way of life and reconcile yourself to God. The Bible says, whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Don't let tonight go by. The Apostle Paul said, my desire is to depart and, and to be with Christ that is far better a famous preacher once said his name was Moody he said one day you will read in the newspapers that Dwight Moody is dead he said, don't you believe a word of it. That day I will be more alive than ever. Because I'll be in heaven. Ah, are you ready? Have you received Christ? Are you sure? If you are not, why don't you open your heart right now? He changes your life, changes your family, changes your heart, changes your destiny. And the scripture says, come, 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 come. 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 If you are thirsty, come. That's all you have to do. You don't have to think a lot of things. You have to take a step of faith. And say, yes, Jesus. I need you. I want you. Here's my heart. Here's my life. I give it to you. Come in, Lord Jesus. And if you make that decision, you've got it. So here do you have eternal life. Do have an life. You're a child of God. You're a of God. Heaven is your home. You say that's too simple. That's the whole point. That's why it's called good news. It's a gift of God. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to work for it. He did it all. On the cross. When he died. And he rose from the 
the dead. Och han reiser upp åter. He ascended into heaven. Han får det himmels. And he's waiting to come back. Och han nu börjar en efter att komma åter. And if you open your heart to Christ. Och om du öppnar ditt hjärta för Kristus. Here in this hall. Here in these halls. There in the other hall. Och till den nya halls. You'll never be the same. Så vill du ångan dans här med att han är. You'll go home singing. Du får hem singande. With assurance. Vi är en vissa. With joy. Vi glädje. Happy. Luckily, you'll be a child of God. As we're not bad and good. Why reject him? Why hell not? Why take it? Take him out of here. Why not receive him? Why should take him out of here? Why not open your heart? Why should open to the earth? Why not confess him? Why should yacht to him? Why hold back? Why hold the actor? If he offers you eternal life, he hand you what he ever will. And he does. Why not share that? He offers you heaven. He hand you what he him will. And he does. Why not share that? Why not start life over again? Why should be a full calmly and nutshell and be ready for that day? Or will it be right in the store of death? And when he comes back, why hand him an actor? The Bible teaches. We have been learning all of us. All of us who belong. Long to Christ. At all we which from higher at the hand will be taken up in the clouds. There are come up the skutchen and we shall meet the Lord in the air. Richt up the skutchen as we will meet the Lord. And we shall always be with the Lord. Och så ska vi alltid vara samma vid Herren. What a glorious hope. Oh, what a durter hope. What a marvelous reality. For an underfoodly verilight. This is what God has prepared for those who love him. Hade kan Gud vi just raja för de som älskar han. But do you love him? Älskar du han? Have you received it? Here to teach you about him. Have you made your decision? Here to teach you how to learn. And this is your moment of decision. Hetta i tuin how to learn lötta. I want all of you to stand for prayer. Eins att det är skulle rejsa det kunde börja. Let's stand. Låt oss kunna rejsa kunna. And in this tremendous moment, or in this stormy lötta, this last night of this campaign, at the same as the quality of under rain. I hope that all of you, so volni atid at, who have been waiting for this moment, so mava buja etter is a. Some of you, perhaps for years, nökar äldre kunde fly de år. You've been thinking about it. Det är hukso med salutum. And tonight you feel, och i kväll kände du att så lägger. That God has really spoken to your heart. Att Gud verkligen har talat till ditt hjärta. And it's your great moment of decision. Och hetta är tvin stora äldre är lötta. You may be an intellectual. Kan ska du vara lärter. And tonight you know it's the night. Or you felt was to have the quality to have. You may be a highly educated person. Can't get to a high, actually high lawyer. You may be a university professor. Can't get to a university professor. And in your heart you know. Or you have to know was to. That this is your night. I have to do it well. You may not understand it all, of course. Nobody understands it all. But by faith, you know it is the word of God. Men vi trick så fanta du att det är Guds. Open your heart to Christ. Så öppna hjärtat ut för Kristus. You may be a young man, a student. Kan ska du vara en ung man eller en ung nämnger? A teenage girl. En teenage gentle. Or a little boy or girl. Ett lite lite små gentle, små drunker. And you want to be ready. Och du önskar att bli rädd. And the Lord says to you. Och Herren säger vi till. Give me your heart. Ge mig ditt hjärta. Give me your heart. Ge mig ditt hjärta. All of you, my dear friends, from the Faroe Islands, if you've never made this decision, pray this prayer to Jesus Christ. So be his burden down to Jesus Christ. And as you pray, the Lord says, "So see your heaven. I will come into you. Skal jeg komme ind til tuin? I will eat with you. Jeg skal have en måltid sammen med dig. And you will eat with me. Og du skal have en måltid sammen med mig. The Lord says to you. Herren siger vi til ham. I will give you eternal life. At det indsæt jeg at der er et liv. You will never perish. Du skal angående at der er et fortæppes. No one can snatch you out of my hands. Og ingen skal nægge at kunne tage at de ud af handen mig nu. But you must make your decision. Men du må tage at tuin er et liv. I beg you do it now. Og jeg beder dig så inden. I'm going to lead you in a quiet prayer. Or now, shall the laity or in the street let it burn, phrase by phrase, setting after the setting. And all of you, my dear Faroese friends, or we will carry first to winners who are ready to make that decision. Some eight little rayer attack us out to the world. Quietly in your heart, stillly a out in the yasta. Pray this prayer. So be his a burn. And remember as you pray. Or minst till som du bier. He says to you. At Han Jesus see with him, if you've heard my voice, at unto your heart read mine, and open the door, or open the yes to the door, I will come in. So shall I come in? The decision is yours. Men är du inte tuin? Invite him in. Bjöd honom in nu. Let me help you to make that decision. Let me just put that tag as our church. Just pray quietly in your heart. Be utan en ekna yes to. 
Thank you, my God. Tack, God morgon. Thank you that you love me so much. Tack att du älskar mig så mycket. I don't deserve it, Lord. I have it for chant heter Herren. You know my heart. Du känner mitt hjärta. I've done many things against you. Jag har just nek emot det här. But tonight, Lord Jesus. Men i kväll, Herre Jesus. I thank you for your death on the cross. Så tack till dig för det jag tog in av krossen. Thank you that you rose from the dead. Tack att du rejs upp efter. And I believe, Lord Jesus. Och i tryck vi Herre Jesus. Och hetta är du en stora ävjare löta. You may be an intellectual. Kanske du är väl lärd. And tonight you know it's the night. Och i kväll vars du hette kväll det jag tar. You may be a highly educated person. Kanske du är högt äckle högt lärd. You may be a university professor. Kanske du är universitetsprofessor. And in your heart you know. Och hjärtat du är vars du. That this is your night. Och hetta är det tuts kväll. You may not understand it all, of course. Du kanske inte skiljer det till fullna självande. Nobody understands it all. Inte skiljer det allt. But by faith you know it is the word of God. Men vi trick så fär att du att det är orgots. Open your heart to Christ. Så öppna hjärtat ut för Kristus. You may be a young man, a student. Kanske du är en ung man eller en ung närmänger. A teenage girl. En teenage gentle. Or a little boy or girl. Ett lite lite smart gentle, smart drunker. And you want to be ready. Och du önskar att verkligen rejäl. And the Lord says to you. Och Herren säger vi till. Give me your heart. Ge mig ditt hjärta. Give me your heart. Ge mig ditt hjärta. All of you, my dear friends, from the Faroe Islands, if you've never made this decision, pray this prayer to Jesus Christ. So be his abundant unto Jesus Christ. And as you pray, the Lord says, so see your heaven. I will come into you. Skal jag komma in till tuin? I will eat with you. Jag skall ha en måltid sammen med dig. And you will eat with me. Och du skall ha en måltid sammen med mig. The Lord says to you. Här är sig vid dig. I will give you eternal life. Att det inte är jag vad det är vad liv. You will never perish. Du skall ungan dig att låta äver för tapas. No one can snatch you out of my hands. Och ungan skall näka dig kunna täcka dig ut ur handen mina. But you must make your decision. Men du måste täcka tuina älgar. I beg you, do it now. Och i bjuder dig så in. I'm going to lead you in a quiet prayer. Or nu skall det leja till och en stutt lära bön. Phrase by phrase. Setning att han har setning. And all of you, my dear Faroese friends. Och mina kära förresta vänner. Who are ready to make that decision? Som är till rejäl att tänka sig allt jag ikväll. Quietly in your heart. Stuttlessly jag ut under hjärta. Pray this prayer. Så be his a bön. And remember as you pray. Och minst till som du ber. He says to you. At han Jesus säger vi till. If you've heard my voice. At om du har hört rätt mina. And open the door. Och öppnar hjärta det. I will come in. Så ska jag komma in. The decision is yours. Men allt jag är i tuin. Invite him in. Let me help you to make that decision. Let me just put that attack as out. Just pray quietly in your heart. Be it in an ekna yasta. Thank you, my God. Tak, good moin. Thank you that you love me so much. Tak, atu eskar me so nek. I don't deserve it, Lord. I have it in for chant hetter harem. You know my heart. Du känner mitt hjärta. I've done many things against you. Jag har just nek emot det här. But tonight, Lord Jesus. Men i kväll, Herre Jesus. I thank you for your death on the cross. Så tack till dig för det jag tog in av krossen. Thank you that you rose from the dead. Tack att du rejs upp efter. And I believe, Lord Jesus. Och i tryck vi Herre Jesus that you are my Lord. Att du är min Herre. I believe you will come back one day. I tryck vi att du är en dag kommer efter. And that you'll take me home to heaven. Och att du vill ta mig hem till himmels. Lord, I'm ready. Herre, är det till rejäl? Because I receive you in my heart tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Thank you,
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Tack, Herre Jesus. I'm yours. Er det tuin. I'm yours forever. Og er det tuin og ervis. Because you live in my heart. Du tog bøyr og i mine hjerte. And I will serve you, Lord Jesus. Og Herre Jesus, i en stjertene ter. And I will obey you, Lord. Og Herre Jesus, vil jeg ter lugen. With all of my heart. Vi ötlon vi hela hjärta mina. Until I see you face to face. Until it suits you to anlit till anlit. What a day that's going to be. Och för det var det värder. When I see you face to face. Ta iska suits you to anlit till anlit. Bless my loved ones, O God. O God, sikna mina kära. May all my family come to know you too. Må det være så at alle min familie, som jeg ikke kender til. And bless my country, dear God. Og gå ved Gud sikne land mod. That everyone will come to know you. At alle her vil jeg komme at kende til. Thank you, Father. Tak for det, Fader. Now I have eternal life. Nu har vi evigt liv. And I praise you with all my heart. Og jeg priser dig fra alt den hjerte mine. Amen. Amen. Now on this closing night of this beautiful campaign. Nu er det sådan at jeg kvæl dig, at jeg under for at lufte dig. I want to ask for a last confession of faith. Så får jeg bede om en sådan at jeg jeg tror jeg tror. I know that God has been speaking to many hearts. Jeg ved at Gud har talt til mange hjerter. And I want to ask that all of you men and women here in this hall over there in the other hall all of you who prayed that prayer in your hearts with a sincere heart I'm going to ask you that tonight you will give a public confession of your faith. I'm going to ask you to come forward here. Ask for permission. Leave your seat. Come forward. Bring your books, whatever you brought. And once you stand here, I will say a few words of counsel. We'll have a little prayer with you. If you have a question, we'll try and answer it. And then you can join your friends. But I hope that all of you men och kvinnor, men och kvinnor, teenagers, teenagers, boys and girls, drunkards, gentlemen, that you leave your seat and come now. Att du förlåter dig och kommer nu. Och 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 att du förlåter dig och kommer nu. Just say to him, "I'll go with you." So see, we can come. Is it your pleasure to come with her? Come. Boys and girls, grandchildren, gentlemen, fathers and mothers, papa and mamma, grandparents, or mamma and papa, whoever you are. Oh, I'm so excited to ask. You come now. Come now. Leave your seat right now as the choir sings. There is a stolen on now some choir singing. And I hope many of you will come on this last night. Oh, we will not. Many others will come at the sign of the choir. Come now. Come now. Choir sing. Choir singer. God spoke to your heart. You come now and don't delay anymore. <coughs> to those of you in the other hall, you go forward over there. Don't let anything hold you back on this last night. Men and women. Men and Come on, fathers. If you're a father, and you've never given your life to Christ. Don't play any more games as a man. You just leave your seat and come. 
Her usta olduğunu kom. If you want your wife to come with you, say come with me. Onu önce konuna koma vetter så ser vi gärna kom. Come with your wife hand in hand. Kom vi konuna lajarna upp här. But you give an example as a man. Men du som är över Johanna Firmund ett exempel. And don't let anything hold you back. Och att inte hålla där efter. We are going to wait for all of you. Vi får boja efter ötlon tycker. If you're a woman Und wer ein Kinder kommt and you've never confessed Christ du ongar de jotta Jesus Christus it doesn't matter what your husband says det är inte säkert att mäu den säger just getting by the hand and come so take on the hand and come and together be sure that you have eternal life och sjämans skulle det vara säkert det var ärvet liv you young people fellows and girls och tid unga människor drönter och jenter if you've never made this decision come now om det ongar det var tid att säga att du skulle komma nu it may be the last time that god gives you a chance att det kan ska säga nästa möbel att du går jävligt här and you know that's the truth och det är sannligen you cannot play games with god du kan inte spela vid gud You can't just say, "Well, I'll wait for some other time." Du kan inte bara säga, "Okej, efter att börja när det är." There may never be another time. Kanske det blir en gång en annan chans. What makes you think that God can give you chance after chance? För det är så för det hugsa att Gud för att ge vad det en chans en fyr ju annan efter. You got. Come, Christians, you be in a spirit of prayer. Och till trickvanden, vi är en bönar anta. Because it's a spiritual battle in people's hearts. Vi är en anta i bärda som för fram i manna jörstenon. You got. Come. Other people are coming, and I'm going to wait another minute or two. But you Christians, be in prayer. The air of flyers will come, so we pray as in the rain. But the trick is to be. Because in people's hearts, it's a battle. To you, man, the church and the world is a battle. And you may say, "Well, I'm a Protestant." Och du kan se, är du protestanter? That doesn't really matter. Det var inte passen. If God spoke to your heart, you come. Om Gud var tälla till hjärtat, så kom. I want to say a word to those of you who are older tonight. If I see an old person who is elderly, I call it. I don't usually do this. A jade is a vanilla. Yeah? But you know, if you're an older person, men säg att om du är en äldre personer, there isn't that much time left for you. Så är det inte något att ta efter. If you're a younger person, om du är yngre, you may say I still got time. Så säg du kanske, jag har inte varit tog efter. Don't you let time go by. Och lär dig att tiden är färdig för bui. You have no idea whether you're going to have time. Du vet inte hur snabbt att tiden du har rätt efter. You come tonight. Du kommer i kväll. And for those of you who are old, och för tiden som är gammal. You may be gone within a year. Kanske tidigare fär än en av er dagar. Why not settle this matter tonight? Så kvar är ju få andra spår när du är lär i kväll. I'm going to ask the choir to sing a verse or two. If I be a choir and sing just a verse or two. And if there's a battle raging in your soul. Och om det är en battle som för fram mot din hjärta. Don't be surprised. Så vet jag inte. Så vet jag för undrar. This happens to everybody. Att det händer ötlon.
I don't like waiting long in the invitation. And yet I don't like to hurry it either. I have learned that there are many people it takes them a while to make up their mind. But God spoke to your heart tonight. I beg you don't wait anymore. If God's been dealing with your soul if you don't want to come alone, just say to somebody beside you, please come with me. Come with me. I really want to go. And I'm sure they'll accompany you gladly. Because we're welcoming you into the family of God. I'm going to wait another two minutes or so. If the choir will sing just a verse or two. And if God spoke to you, come now. Come now. Come now. we've waited because others are coming. And I'll wait another minute. I think it's all too easy in the Faroe Islands for people to be too concerned with what others think. And I wish that tonight you would totally forget that and be sure for yourself that you indeed have eternal life. For those of you who've come, the Lord Jesus says to you, I have given you eternal life. This life is in his Son. He who has the Son of God has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Now you've opened your heart to Christ. Now you have eternal life. And no one can snatch you out of the hands of Jesus. He gives eternal life. And it's delightful to see you all here. Now in a moment we're going to have a word of counsel with you. We're going to have a prayer. We're going to give you some literature. And if you have a question, we'll try and answer it. I want to ask, before we have the final prayer, if for some reason you didn't come forward, but in your heart you open your heart to Christ that you give me your name and address when, when you came in there was a card on your chair 
On that card, would you put the word yes? And just leave it on the chair. And one of my team members will pick it up. Because I want to be in correspondence with you. To help you grow spiritually. So even as the crowd leaves. So at the time of fasting for you. After the prayer. Just fill the card. So skriva hetter a korte. Leave it on the chair and we'll pick it up. Or lekta a stolen vi tak. Because it's vital that we stay in touch. So that umroan de vi dava samband kvar. So that you grow spiritual. So du kas vaxa andalia. Now. In a moment, then we'll have the final prayer. One of the gentlemen is coming to pray. And uh, then we will have to say goodbye. But I hope that all of you are ready for heaven. I hope the reason you didn't come forward is that that whole crowd out there that you're all ready. I certainly hope so. In that case, when we get to heaven, we'll have the greatest party of our lives. And It'll be great to talk for years and years. Meanwhile, God richly bless you. Men, my God, sicken that you can reach Now, would you come? Who is going to pray? Tan som bier kjenner. Ja, vi skal la. Vi gjerne støtte på en til Herren og takke ham for det. Vi skal løfte ham. Ja, mægtig god i himlen, og vi takker her for det. Det er meget dyrt kvalt. Takke dig for det, han bor skab. Som er boet over her, og vi må være til åsene, at det er alvor sant gå opp her her. Og min børn til vi skal være her i kveld, at andre skal være ute stangt og satt her, grunn til å stolt løyke. Hukk meg opp, at det er hvert han nå kan være, så min enda makten sitter fram. Men at hun går opp til himmelen og vil brøte alle meg å stå. Og lad os alle komme til tøjen. Tak for det her, som er kommet her i kvalt. Jeg har stillet os i her i gav og fejr. Jeg vil prøve at sætte en større navn i herre. Vi takker dig for det brev og rokkere, som har været her. Og for det her, som har været sammen med vi, og bia til så innerlig om. At du skal sikne han fremvis, og du skal fylge tøjen, når du skal færdes til hjertet. Og være tøjen nær, og Gjør at det er en gav av deg her, når du skal få en ild kjøpmann av henne. At du vet under større nå er jeg vilt vise at hele land, at han bor i. Gav og god. Vi vil anbefale dere således til tøyen. Og takke at her for nå er jeg tøyen. Og be om sikkerhet tøyen, at du vil fylge dere om ødelen etter. Når du skal få en ild av hverdel og søyen. Herre Jesus Kristus, vi takker dere således. Vi er alt, og vi er en tøyne døyre, og verdig er navn. Amen.